Hi guys, have another Paracore bracelet today. This one is a three strand bracelet and on this side it has this snaking pattern running down the bracelet and on the other side, which is the side I prefer, it has this nice herringbone pattern with accents on the sides. This one is going to use two pieces of paracord. One piece is a shorter piece which is 90 centimeters or around about three feet and the other piece is a longer piece and is 180 centimeters or around about six feet and that will make a bracelet 20 centimeters long or around about eight inches and I'm going to start here with the shorter piece and I'm just going to flatten out this end here and I'll do that just by melting the end and then using the edge of my lighter just to press it flat. I'm going to start here with my longer piece of paracord and I'm going to start by locating the center and I'm just going to form a loop and then I'm going to fold a piece over and then tuck it up through that loop to form a slip knot and then I can grab my shorter piece and I just want to tuck it up through that hole and then tighten that slip knot down nice and tight so that this strand doesn't pull back through and then adjust this loop here to about a centimetre or half an inch and then we can start our braiding so this pattern is a pretty simple pattern but you just have to make sure you're a little bit careful with it and keep it nice and neat as you progress all the way down. We will start here with the shortest piece which is over at the left and just take it over both of those centre strands and then take this very left hand strand and I'm going to take it around and down through that left loop just so that strand curls around and then carefully tighten that up and bring those strands back to the center then I'm going to take my right strand over both of those center ones I'm going to take this right strand around and down through that loop. And again, just curl that around and then carefully tighten that up. And you'll find that this lighter colored strand or your short strand will snake down the bracelet like this. So we just need to repeat that pattern all the way down. Take that left hand strand over both of those two center ones and then take this left hand strand around and down through the left loop. Again, curl it around and then carefully tighten making sure that we get that nice snaking pattern and bring the strands to the center and then again this right hand strand over both those center strands and this right hand strand around and down through that right loop curl around and then carefully tighten it up and so we just need to repeat that pat pattern all the way down until we get the bracelet to the desired length 
Once you get down to the end here, I just want to lock this one off with a half hitch. So I'm going to do that by just taking that over the two center strands. And I'm going to go around the back and then up through that loop. And then I just need to tighten that down as much as possible. And after I get it nice and tight, I just need to cut off this excess piece here and singe it off with a lighter. So just cut it off, leaving a tiny little bit there. And then milk the end and press it nice and flat so it doesn't pull back through. Then we just need to tie a button down here and the way I'm going to do that is by taking my right hand strand underneath both of these center ones and I'm going to take this left hand strand and form a loop coming in above both of those center strands. Then I'm going to take this right strand up through the right loop and I'm going to take the left strand and take it down through that left loop and then pull this knot tight by pulling these strands out horizontally and I can cut the excess pieces off here and singe them off with a lighter and we should be finished. So I've cleaned up the button now and that's our finished bracelet with our center strand weaving all the way down and if we flip the piece over you'll get your nice herringbone pattern with the accents here on the sides. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.